This is a demonstration of the anatomy of both the sheep heart as well as the human heart model. So regions, this would be the apex, and across the top would be the base, apex, and across the top is the base. Pointing it like this, you can see that there is an oracle here, this little pouch that fills up when the atria fill up. And here's the other pouch here. These are the oracles. And because this is oriented so that is if it's your patient um, uh, facing you, this is the left side of the heart, and this over here is the right side of the heart. Therefore, this would be the left atrium, uh, sorry, the left oracle, and this would be the right oracle. And um, you, you, know, you also notice here that this has been dissected here. This is the pulmonary trunk. That way you can get to the palm, see the pulmonary valve. And then you have a frontal cut to open it up, to be able to open it up and see the four chambers and the anatomy inside, just like you would see it in a, uh, in a, in a textbook. So um, just to begin with the four chambers, you have the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. And you, you wonder, okay, well, what separates the atrium from the ventricle? Well, you have your, this atrioventricular valve. So this one over here would be the tricuspid, and this here would be the bicuspid. There's three cusps here, and there are two cusps on this side. Or you, or you can call this the right atrioventricular valve, and this is the left atrioventricular valve. And there's also a third name for this, which is the mitral valve. So mitral valve, bicuspid, or the, 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 the left atrioventricular valve. This is the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, left ventricle. These atrioventricular valves are also attached to chordae tendini, which are then attached to papillary muscles. So here's a papillary muscle here. This is the chordae tendini, these tendinous cords, and those tendinous cords are then attached to the, to the uh, atrioventricular valves that you see here. Quite large, and therefore um, they're easy to blow back backwards when the pressure increases. Therefore, you need these strings to, 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 to prevent the, uh, the blood from escaping the wrong way when the, the ventricles are in systole. <clears throat> you also have this septum here. This is the interventricular septum. You have your ventricles here. So this is from here to here is the interventricular septum. And then from here to here is your interatrial septum. So that's this structure here. You also have three layers. You have the epicardium, this thin epicardium, and then this thick myocardium, thick myocardium, thick myocardium, and then you have a very thin layer on the inside, which is the thin endocardium. So three layers of the heart. Careful because the, the, the probe could be pointing here. If, it, if the question is named the chamber, then that would be the right ventricle. But if the question is named the layer, that would be the endocardium. You also have these plate-like structures within the muscle, and that's trabeculae. So you have trabeculae, that's the plate-like structures. You have the chamber, and you also have um, the layer. So three, three different questions um, could, could three different answers could be for three different questions all pointing to the same thing. Just like this, name the structure, that's the interventricular septum, but name the layer, that would be myocardium. And um, um, so then um, blood will then flow from here to here and it'll go up and across you, you, um, if you take the probe and you, you uh, stick it like this, you will, it will come out of the pulmonary trunk. 
So here's the pulmonary trunk, therefore the probe is actually going through the pulmonary valve, which you see here. It's pulmonary valve. It's, 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 it's small, so it's much harder to see than these very large atrioventricular valves. And um, then, the, bl then, the, uh, then the, um, bl the blood will then exit and, and go out the left and right pulmonary arteries, go to the lungs, come back, and uh, through the left and right pulmonary veins, uh, now oxygenated, and then it will enter this chamber, this, then this chamber, and then it'll go up through this valve that you see right here. This is the aortic valve. And the aortic valve is small, just like your pulmonary valve. Therefore, you don't see any strings attached to it. These are also called uh, semilunar valves. So this would be the left semilunar valve, or, or you can call it the aortic valve because it leads to the aorta. And you can call this one the right semilunar valve or the pulmonary valve because it leads to the pulmonary trunk. So therefore, this vessel here then would be, if you do this, you look up, therefore that would be the aorta. This vessel here is the pulmonary trunk. And then one more, you see here's the right auricle. And attached to that, you have this vessel here. There it is. And that is the superior vena cava. The superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava would bring blood into the right atrium. So there's, there, there could be a lot of questions. Here's the pectinate muscle, pectinate muscle, which is on the underside of the, of the, um, on the underside of the auricle, pectinate muscle. You have papillary muscle, you have myocardium, and then you have these plate-like structures, which is the trabeculae. Now, if we move this out of the way and take a look at the human heart model, here we have the aorta once again. Here's the aorta. Here's the superior vena cava, bringing blood down this way. And if we flip it around, we have the inferior vena cava right here. Inferior vena cava and the superior vena cava. And going across, just like we saw before, that's your pulmonary trunk. Trunk just means short vessel. Here is the right auricle. Open it up, there's the pectinate muscle. And here is the, the left auricle. Open it up, uh, and then the regions. This is, your, this is the apex, and then across the top here, this is the base going around. Open this up, and now we see the four, um, the four chambers. This here would be the right atrium, and then below the valve here, this would all be the right ventricle. And then up here, this would be the, I mean, underneath then, underneath the left auricle then would be the left atrium. You can, you can kind of, you know, imagine up here. And then this large, uh, chamber here would then be the left ventricle. Here's a papillary muscle. Here are your chordae tendini, chordae tendini, all this. This would be your tricuspid valve, and this is your bicuspid valve. Your right atrioventricular valve, 
and your left atri atrioventricular valve. This valve here leads to the pulmonary trunk, so this must be your pulmonary valve, or you can call it the right semilunar valve. And then pointing the heart, orienting it like this, you can actually see the other one. This is now the left semilunar valve, or you can call it the aortic valve, because it leads to the aorta. Superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, aorta, ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending aorta. And then if this is the pulmonary trunk, that gives rise to the left pulmonary artery, bringing deoxygenated blood to the lungs. And the other side here would be the right pulmonary artery, bringing deoxygenated blood to the right lung. Coming back, then go to the lung, you come back, and you would have your right pulmonary veins bringing oxygenated blood to the heart, and that gets dumped into the left aorta, sorry, at atrium, and bringing blood back from the heart, uh, from the lungs, these, these two here would be your left pulmonary veins, bringing oxygenated blood also to the left atrium, which will then go through the bicuspid valve into the left um, ventricle, and then up through the aortic valve and out the aorta. So that completes, um, so that completes uh, the, the terms and the, the anatomy for both the sheep heart and the, uh, and the, um, and the human heart model. And there, and so then this, this thin layer out here, this is the epicardium, this is the myocardium, and then the thin layer on the inside is the endocardium interventricular septum, interventricular septum, just like we've seen before. And there you have it. Thank you.